I'm Andrew. I'm Kevin. Welcome, Welcome to Bro Jacks. <laughs> this weekend, we're creating a cozy winter-themed retreat with our hot tub ski chalet. We'll start by setting a portable hot tub into a hole in the base of our old skateboard half pipe. A circular tabletop lid made from a series of 1x4 strips stained a variety of colors atop a shroud of curved plywood will hide the hot tub within a stylish oversized coffee table. We'll use the hot tub's original inflatable lid along with some styrofoam billets to give the tabletop a floating Lazy Susan effect so that we can easily pass around my hot chocolate cocktails or Andrew's comfort food fondue for popping the lid to reveal the surprise of our hot tub centerpiece. Okay boys, so let's cut this hole. <laughs> when you're designing something with someone else and you're constantly saying, no, I don't like that, you feel like sometimes you become a roadblock and that's not what I want to do. Anyone could do a hot tub on the floor. That's the way to do it. These guys can do something a lot better than that. All right, Walker, it's show time. Andrew and I implied that it was going to be a pretty straightforward matter to just simply take the recip saw and cut that hole out. But that thing put up quite a fight. I right back into it. Junior and Walker kind of ganged up on me and uh, dropped the hot tub down seven inches, whoop de doo And then we're kind of running into problems. We used every battery in the house. Bad. Might be. And we have a lot of batteries. Boy, Dick Prenicky didn't have batteries. <laughs> <laughs> so it turns out Kevin might have had a point. Oh, gloat while you have the opportunity. <laughs> yeah. So finally, these guys misused the corded saw to get the butcher job restarted. Now you're cooking with gas. I'm finally right. Yeah. I'm yeah. finally right, Junior. <laughs> Next thing on this build is to clean up the outside so that we don't puncture. Now we need curved plywood. Yep. And then we're going to wrap plywood around it. And then I'm probably on the highway. So Walker had to leave. My back was still sore from skiing, so I needed some relief. With no hot tub yet, we had to improvise. Down. Stop. Okay. Go. Oh, oh my god. That is pretty sweet. <laughs> So we're trying to make a nice looking tabletop for our coffee hot tub table. We want to cut a perfectly round circle. So I'm just trying to make a jig here so that we can get a really nice, a perfect circle. How confident are you in this thing? I'm curious. More than confident. You think we should try it on a piece of ply or something first? Well, that would be the smart thing to do. That's out. That is out. We didn't know how well this jig would work. This is a bit of a dangerous move, huh? Yeah, this is insanely dangerous. All right, it's fingers. But it was really, really easy, and it made a really nice cut. And it was pretty fun to use, too. So we finally pulled the lid out, and with the nice round cut on it, it actually looked pretty sharp. The stained wood top of our custom coffee table came off to reveal the secret built-in hot tub. Ooh, it's quite hot. The most soothing way to end a successful night on the slopes. Oh, that feels good. Oh, that's great. And the highlight of having a new ski chalet right in our house. Good build, man. Yeah, really good build. Nice work. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>